Hi and welcome to 50 feet below. Today we're going to talk about Malapasqua, which is a tiny island in the middle of the Philippines. Um, this is world famous for its treasure shark and micro life, but does it deliver on its promise and is it worth your buck traveling there? Uh, traveling to Malapasqua can be quite a trip. We flew out from Amsterdam to Hong Kong, which is the first stop, which took about 11 hours. From there you fly to Cebu City. Um, this is about two and a half hours. From Cebu City you take a minivan up north, um, which is three to four hours. And from the north of the island you take a boat to Malapasqua, which takes you about 45 minutes. You will forget about the long trip once you have stuck your head underwater. The underwater scenery is simply spectacular. Uh, you will see sharks, macro life, big coral gardens. Um, it's just better if you see it for yourself. Uh, besides all that, we did a wreck dive, we also did a night dive um, on the reef uh, where you can actually see the mandarin fish. Um, we went looking for manta rays twice but sadly didn't see them, um, even though it was the right time of year. And when you go to the end of April, you can even see hammerhead sharks there and even large schools of them. A uh, small note here, when you're not on the treasure shark slash manta ray dive site, uh, which all takes place in one dive site, um, there aren't much big fish to be seen. Uh, we haven't actually seen none of them. Um, this may be due to overfishing, because they told us that they used to have a lot of turtles, and they ate them all. So. Um, in our group, everybody was really happy with the diving. Um, there are big animals, small animals, coral reefs, wreck diving, night diving, so everybody got something out of it. So I'm pretty sure you won't be disappointed by diving at Malapascua. Diving at Malapascua can be done from any level. Uh, you can start as soon as you get your license. Um, you might miss out on the most important dive site, which is the treasure shark dive site, and also where you can see the mantas and hammerheads. And this is 25 meters deep or 80 feet. Um, my experience is that the dive schools are not really strict about the level and they take anybody up there, but you might not want to take the risk and get your advanced or deep dive specialty up front. The water temperature is around 29 degrees. Um, they have some colder months, which are in January and February. The water drops down to 25, 26 degrees. Um, normally, a three millimeter tropical suit will do, but in the colder months, maybe you want to pack some extra undergarment. Um, also, bring a dive light. It really pops back the colors in the corals, um, especially on the deeper dives. Keep in mind that dive lights and flashes are not um, allowed when you're diving with treasure sharks or at night when diving with the mandarin fish. Um, they got special red lights for the mandarin fish so you can still see them. Um, also gloves and pointers are prohibited because they tend to make you touch stuff. Like everything else in the Philippines, diving is actually quite cheap. Um, if you take 10 boat dives, you pay $264. Um, that's with your own equipment. Uh, tanks and weights are included. Um, if you don't have any equipment of your own, you pay $316, which is also very reasonable. Um, one of those 10 dives is actually a check dive, um, which is on the house reef, which is not really exciting, but it's mandatory, so you have to do it. Um, if you want to go out to the wreck, you pay an additional $8, because it's a little bit farther away, and you pay $3 a dive, which is a contribution contribution to the marine park and it's just for conservation purposes so happy to pay it um, all in all very reasonable pricing for 
diving. Um, the island is actually quite small and they have a wet season and a dry season. The dry season runs from uh, November through April. This is also their high season and most people will be there around that time. Um, also the prices get a little bit higher then. Um, the beaches are quite beautiful and really nice to hang around during your service interval. Uh, at night there are like many restaurants, bars where you can drink and eat and the prices are quite reasonable you we've been there for like a week and the um, we paid around 300 bucks a person and we had beers and wine so it's very reasonable pricing don't expect big parties it's quite laid back and everybody's there for diving so um, other things you can do is visit the lighthouse and go to other beaches on the on the island uh, don't rent a scooter, we did that and it's really not necessary, you can do everything by foot. Don't go if you like to party and have loads of things to do besides diving, it's a small island, it's, it's really not there. Um, also don't go if you like dive sites for your own, um, like the Treasure Shark Dive, there are like 100 other divers in the water with you, so they don't really bother you, but if you don't like that, don't go. And also don't go if you don't like the long trip. It's, it's quite a trip from Cebu City to the north part. It's three or four hours in a shaky minivan. And if you don't live in Southeast Asia, it's, it's quite a trip there. Um, go if you want to see the treasure shark. This is one of the only places in the world where you can regularly see the treasure shark. It's, it's really an elusive animal. It's really great to see it. So certainly go for that. Um, also the corals are beautiful, there are pristine coral gardens like you've never seen before, like I've never seen before, so it's, it's really nice. Um, also the macro life is really good, if you're into that, uh, go. There's pygmy seahorses, uh, other small stuff, it's really good. Um, also the dive operations are really good. We dove with Exotic and they were really nice. They haul your gear, they build your kit, they help you on the boat. Um, it's really awesome. Also the boats are really comfortable so it's really a laid-back diving vacation. Also it's really cheap. Once you get there it's really cheap and the trip might cost you a bit but you normally can book a package and it's really cheap. Our nine-day trip all included was around 2,000 bucks, so that's pretty fair. <laughs>